Hey guys, and welcome back to the 2015 NAB Show. I'm Scott Ellis. And I'm John P. And I'm also super excited because we've got Kyle here from Rhino. And you guys, we've got to, before we even talk about what you brought with you, we've got to go back a little bit in time and talk about what you did originally. So you started a company and launched it on Kickstarter a while back. And this is when we originally kind of met virtually at, le at least. You created a really cool slider that I bought and a lot of other people did. How did, how was, remind us how that first Kickstarter went for you. That was actually our, our second or third oh, those, Kickstarter oh, okay. campaign. Okay. That was the one that went big for us. Okay, and what year made, was that? That was 2012. 2012, so okay. It was about almost two years ago. And I think we sold probably four or 500 of them on, on Kickstarter. Yeah. And it really launched Rhino into what it is today. Um, this is really an evolution of what the original slider was. And so, so originally, you put out this slider, and, and you could get either carbon fiber rails. Sure, you carbon could get fiber, stainless steel. It came in two lengths, so you had two feet or four feet options. That's really the core of the system is that it's modular, so you don't have to buy individual sliders for each purpose or use. You can buy one and then buy separate rails and kind of swap them out, and that was a big selling point of the slider. And as soon as you put that slider out, you probably almost instantly had people start asking you, how can I oh, motorize yeah. this oh, thing, yeah. right? Oh, definitely, definitely. <laughs> and we were still really new to the business when we first got into it. And so when people started asking about motion control and electronics, I had no idea. You're like, I, yeah. I just built an awesome yeah, slider. I, I just taught myself can how to- Can we focus on that for exactly, a minute? <laughs> exactly, So it's, uh, it's been a long road. You know, people have been asking for it for a while and we've taken our time. We haven't really rushed it. We've, we've learned a lot and I think we've come out with something really cool. So All let's- right. Take a closer look. So yeah. I got to tell you the story though, because like what happened was like two days. When did you you just launched a new Kickstarter? Correct. What three days ago now? That's about a week ago. Oh, yeah. about well, has it been? Oh, it, we launched last Tuesday. So NAB. Okay. It's about just hard to remember. Yeah. But so a week fast. ago, I saw the email come through, yep. and uh, and I was like, oh my god, this is awesome. <laughs> uh, I want to see it in person. Sure. But I was stuck here at NAB, and I was just praying that you were going to be coming to NAB. I, I got a text this morning <laughs> yeah. saying there's an opening at 12.45, yeah. and we're leaving tonight. So oh, Wow, me. perfect. Yeah, good timing. So we're glad to good have timing. you. So yeah. what you've got is a new Kickstarter. How do people find it, first of all? Sure, you can go on to kickstarter.com, search for Rhino Slider. It's called Rhino Slider Evo. Evo. Um, you can go on to our website, rhinocg.com. It's the first thing on the banner, really easy to get to. Nice. Um, yeah, okay, good. and so what you've got now is a slider with motion control, but you've done it differently than, than I've seen before. So correct, correct. Give so, us the intro on this. Okay. So I'll give you a little bit of a backstory on why this is unique to us and in the industry. So when we thought about making a new slider, we really realized that it needed to be integrated into the slider. Uh, you, you referenced the other system, the kind of upgrade kit for the original sliders. The difference in Evo is that the belt is actually built in and everything is modular. So what you see here is actually two different accessories. You see the motor on the end, which literally just drops on. It's, it's a really easy add-on. And then you have the controller that comes with that with a cable that plugs into it. Okay. The controller also has a built-in seven-hour battery. Wow. So anything else on the market, you have to have a big battery lugging around with you. We designed it to work from the ground up so that you can shoot all day long and do what we call live motion, which I'll just kind of demonstrate here, is you turn this wheel. I don't know if the camera can zoom in on that. Yep. You turn the wheel and it reacts in real time. That is so sweet. So I actually want you guys to try that out. That's one of the funnest parts about this system. So the faster you turn it, the, the faster the it goes? Faster the and then it actually knows where it's at. So it sets its own limits. So I don't have to worry about crashing it you or throwing it off. You don't have to crash it. Yeah, you can throw it to one end. It can pull up to 25 pounds. So we've thrown around a fully kitted out Red Epic on this. Now you've got, you mentioned that this is all modular. There's something else you're showing off sure, right now that exactly. is also prototypey. So, yes, the, so this is what we call parallax, Very Rhino cool. parallax. And what I've it gotta is, give that a try yeah, yeah, try it out. It's a, it's a mechanical second axis. So linear motion, single axis motion is great, but to really add a more dynamic feel of the shot. Uh, this automatically pans, and you can adjust the amount of pan by changing this bar. Ah, so if you just want a little bit of pan, if you have an interview maybe set up six or seven feet away, you can set it up here. Or if you're actually doing a product shot that's closer, say 18 inches away, it'll be closer. So in interview mode, it's actually, I'll demonstrate real quick how easy it is to navigate the menu. You can go in to create a move, 
it auto calibrates, so it basically runs into the end and it figures out where it's at on the slider. You can go in and, and set your ramp. I see ramp, loop, yep, duration. Yep, you can set your loops. We're, we're live, sorry, back up, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and then you press start, and literally this thing, it actually docks magnetically on the back of the motor. So you can have this thing set up on your tripod, and, and it nice. runs. It's, it's a second awesome. camera that's autonomous. So you now, can literally set up your, your B cam. Now one thing I see, the camera right now is kind of swooping Correct. outward, so, but if we want it to go inward, can we do that too? You basically flip around the system Turn 180 around. degrees, yeah. So this is great for time lapses. You can do uh, both simple and we call advanced time lapse where it triggers your camera's exposure with the actual motion control unit. So yeah, very good. this is great for time lapse showing a panorama, other ways great for interviews and product shots. What I'm a little surprised about is you've already done all the engineering, you've done all the hard mm -hmm. work here, and you actually have a working unit sure, that you're sure. demoing before the Kickstarter. Yeah, that's a great so question. So you had to incur all the costs of R&D and everything else, we that's did. a huge risk before you even risk. do it. It's a huge risk. So um, we wanted to provide our Kickstarter backers with a better experience this time around. You've kind of been on the, on the back end of some campaigns that things take longer than you expect, yeah. especially mm -hmm. when you're new to it. So we did everything ahead of time and, and it did incur all those expenses yeah. uh, with the faith and hope that we built something good enough that people would want to buy. So, so you have, uh, do you have your, like on just on the Kickstarter project mm -hmm. portion of this now, you, you've got a, this is an amazing product. And by the way, I want to tell you guys, having used that controller just now, it is buttery like it? smooth. Yeah, super smooth. It's good. magnificent. It feels solid in your we, hands. We I actually, love it. We actually Im implemented a brand new magnetic encoder technology. We built a knob from scratch to be able to do that. It feels nothing else does that. Amazing. Yeah, yeah it really it does. Really does. Yeah. Uh, and I, I guarantee you, I promise you, I'm backing the project. Good. I want one. <laughs> good. Like I want one now. Okay. But um, but what I'm curious about is, sure. you've got it all engineered. Here it is working. Do, does that mean that you've got all your vendors lined up for all the parts we do. that you need to We do. Produce? What, what you're looking at is from our final supply chain. Okay. So the injection molded parts, um, they're all first articles that we've received and everything's tooled up for. The machine parts are from the final vendors, motor electronics. So um, when do you think you're going to be able, once the Kickstarter ends, when do you think you, how long do you think it's going to take to start fulfillment? So on the Kickstarter, we're saying August at the latest just in case we get too many orders that we can't fulfill. Yeah. Because um, we have a set number of orders that we have ordered already. Um, we're hoping that in mid-June, we'll actually start shipping out Kickstarter orders. How long does the Kickstarter campaign It goes until into? May 19th. So okay. you might only wait three or four weeks from the end of Kickstarter to when you actually get your unit, which and is different. Very good. The yeah. last time I checked it, I, I, uh, because we've been up here, I haven't had a chance to really check in on it too much. Yeah. But the last time I checked, I, I thought you, you had a really modest uh, goal. It's $50,000. Yeah, but yeah. you were already at like, Two thirds of that, or something. We actually met it this morning. You did. Oh, awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. That's fantastic. fantastic. Yeah, I woke up this morning with my wife, and we're stoked. Everyone was texting me saying, Yay. "Congrats." <laughs> yeah. Made good. That's yeah. awesome. That's great yeah. news. That's a good thing. Yeah, and that makes all the people backing it feel really good too, because they a know more confident. They know they're going to. You know you're going to get it now. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, exactly. that's so awesome. And one other thing I, I'd like to bring up: we yeah. uh, we did a little demo at a booth, and people were asking us. They didn't believe us that this thing was actually as quiet as as they think. So they're oh. they're putting their ear up to it. And then they got a little bit closer. Um, do you guys hear anything? No, I is it maybe get a little bit closer. This yeah. is one of our proudest accomplishments with the system. This is actually where the noise would come from. I really can't hear anything. I can't I, hear anything. Let me. Let, it let's is kind of loud in here, but let's it's, get the microphone over sure, by it. Sure. Sure. Yeah. You can hear me talking. Is that about it? I, I can't hear anything. No, there's no I don't sound. I think anybody whatsoever. can hear it. There's no sound. Uh, That's a little loud. It, it's basically me and an engineer working on all these products, and that was our biggest really hurdle to overcome was that this thing had to be quiet for live motion. So, um, By the pretty, way, pretty you said the controller would last for seven hours. How long, battery. How, yeah, how long mm -hmm. does the, the motor that's driving this thing last? The motor. Is, is, the, is the power for, the, for yes. the motor moving this, that that is, the whole thing is seven hours? Correct. Correct. Oh, wow. So, wow. So this I thing, thought it was just that was seven hours. No, the, the power, I, yeah, the power, the, the battery's thing. in here. This is really just the motor uh, and okay. the magnet. So everything, the communication and the power comes from this unit. That's fantastic. So you can use the unit for seven hours. That's correct. All with internal go. batteries. It's really easy to charge, easy to hook up to, you know, a $100 battery from Amazon if you want two weeks of battery. So. Pricing, T let's talk about how much it costs. Pricing, okay, so uh, after Kickstarter, we're still figuring out a retail pricing. Uh, this slider is probably our most popular. It's a two foot carbon fiber Rhino Slider Evo. It's about 500 bucks. Uh, motion is gonna be roughly $600. 
It's for the motor and for the controller. Parallax, we haven't released pricing on it yet, but it's probably around the 350 range. Um, and, and I know you, you, you can't really order that yet. You said you'll be able to add it so on about later. Ju probably July, August, Parallax will be available. Okay, okay. all right. Yeah. So by the time you... By the time you get it, if you get it in August, you, you should hopefully be able to you order You might be parallax. able to order Parallax immediately. Let's yeah. say I want the big one, because you know I want the big one, okay? Sure, the, yeah, so the, the big, big one. one, Parallax with the whole thing, all it, like the whole thing, two kay. grand, Low. 1,500? 14, 1,500 bucks all in. Nice. Yeah. That's the, the, the one 42 inch stainless steel can hold up to 50 pounds. The 24 inch can hold up to 100 pounds. Uh, really, the pricing between the models isn't that much. It's all within 200 bucks. So it's really what kind of camera you're putting on it, what right. length you want, what's your style of filmmaking. That's how you choose your rails. What is the Kickstarter entry price if somebody wanted to get the unit? So this system, without, we're not selling Parallax on yeah. Kickstarter, right. but so the Rhino Slider Evo 24 inch with motion is 9.99. Free shipping, ships in June. Okay. And one last question yeah. is, when people are trying to decide on the rails because sure. they could either do stainless steel or carbon fiber, mm -hmm. how will you, I mean, I think of that, I just think carbon fiber is lighter. Why would I want stainless steel? It's, that's a great question. I shoot mainly on, this is a, our new A7S GH4. We're pretty light, fast, running gun. Uh, the only time I ever really use the 42-inch the stainless is when I have a bigger setup, when I'm in a studio, when I'm doing this mode. Real heavy duty or Real something? heavy duty, you know, we have monitors and we have a rig that we're swapping okay. between sets. Right. Uh, but most of the time, I've been walking the show with this in my new bag and yeah. fully assembled, everything ready to go. Nice. So it's, this is my favorite. Does the 42 cool. inch come in stainless and carbon fiber? It does, okay. everything, everything's center mounted. Um, everything's either 24 inch or 42 inch stainless steel or carbon fiber. Perfect, cool. Kyle, thanks for coming over and Thank showing us the new rig. We appreciate it. You guys, just head on over to Kickstarter and just back this bad boy. Get it. Uh, and other than that, stick around because we've got a lot more good stuff coming up for the rest of the uh, 2015 NAB show. We'll be right back.